Hi everybody, this is Brendan here with Common Motor. It's common-motor.com on the internet. And today we're going to talk about one of the Achilles heels on the CB360's family of engines, which is the cam journal failure. We've got a toast to one right here. We'll explain why it happens and how you can easily prevent this from happening on your engine. The fix is pretty simple, so stay tuned. What I have in front of me is a, a trashed CB360 cylinder head that has a, um, well, the center cam journal in it. It's pretty roach. In fact, this one actually happened to eat the center one and the outer one. But usually the center one is a, a victim of, uh, of damage in these engines. In fact, here's the cam that came out of the engine. And the camshaft itself is also pretty roached. So, this this journal failure is, is pretty common on these engines. But the reason it fails is not why you think. In fact, it's all, oftentimes um, user error that causes this failure. Uh, this journal is a little different from the other two journals. We have an outer journal here and an outer journal here. The outer journals are, are pressure fed. They have oil that comes up and keeps the, the camshaft bearing surfaces lubricated. But the center one, it doesn't have any lubrication that's actually pressure fed to it. It's just a splash lubrication. And uh, you know, that's not the best, but it works. And uh, Honda, Honda made some engineering choices. Why they did that, I'm, I'm not totally sure. But uh, there are some things we can do to prevent this from happening um, on the cylinder head. So we're going to take a closer look at some of the details on the cylinder head. And then we're going to show you how to actually make the make a modification to keep this from happening very simply. So here is actually a clean uh, cylinder head. This one's actually off a of CJ360. It's a later casting. I'm just holding the camshaft in here. And yeah, here's our center cam you know, journal of the actual camshaft. And this is the one that fails. I'm going to remove the camshaft. I'm going to point out an interesting detail here. Uh, as we saw before on the on the outer two bearing journals, you see the, the oil hole that provides oil to the end journals in the camshaft, but again, the middle has no oil hole. If we look real closely in this little cup here, there's a raised part of the casting right here. This was a provision that Honda actually cast into the cylinder head to potentially be drilled and uh, send oil from this journal over to the center journal. Now, if you have an earlier style cylinder head, you can actually uh, come in from the side here with a mill and drill a hole through it, and then drill a hole into the uh, cam journal here and pressure feed it. But you know, you better have a milling machine to, to do the work. And also, not all heads are able to do it. If you look at this particular head here, uh, this casting has a lot of under underfill on it, and you're not going to have a good square shot to drill through it. Some of the earlier castings, this is all flat. It just depends how they made it. But I want to show you this is a, a later style CJ casting where they ended up, you know, it has this underfill right here where a lot of flat surface to work with. That's okay. I'm not expecting you guys to do that kind of work. We can make a, a repair very simply. So here is a damaged 360 cylinder head, valve cover, and camshaft. Um, I'll explain to you how, how the failure happened, and it's actually uh, it's very simple. I'm going to take the valve cover off, put it aside. Here is our camshaft that's been chewed up. Right, put that aside, and here is our, our chewed up journal. And you see this area I've kind of highlighted in pink. Uh, that area is actually a little bit like it's. If I actually take my X Acto knife here, and there's actually a ridge here where that is an indentation. In the metal. Basically, what happened was, um, you know, this valve cover, when you put it on, it's supposed to have a layer of three bond gasket sealer, right, our good old three bond we use, is put all around the outside to here to seal the valve cover to the uh, cylinder head. What happens is, there's also supposed to be a little bit of three bond put here and here. 
Hahn and Manuel never talks about that, three bond being there. So what happens is you three bond this guy up, you throw your cam in, get it all ready to go, and you go and you put your valve cover back on, and the very, very first two bolts in the torque sequence are the bolts here and here. That's that bolt and that bolt. So what happens is now the valve cover is just sitting up a little bit higher, a few thousandths of an inch because it's got a layer of three bond on it, but it doesn't have any three bonds right here because you didn't put it on because it doesn't seem like it makes sense to put it there because it's in the middle of the motor. And you torque those guys to spec and this cover flexes just a little bit. It flexes enough that the little feet that are on the bottom of the, the valve cover touch right here and here and make an indentation. And that indentation then squeezes on that cam journal. And now there's no room for their oil, the splash of lubrication oil, to go anywhere. So essentially, you know, this cam journal is getting pinched between the cylinder head and the valve cover because there's not enough space keeping the valve cover off the journal. You fire the engine up and it chews up the journal. So that's what happened. In fact, that's exactly what happened on this engine here. And you know, that, that indentation there is the indentation that came off the valve cover. So this is the valve cover side and the, the journal on this side is also chewed up. It does have a groove in it that's supposed to help with the oil, but it's been kind of melted. And this is the surface here. That surface is what's touching on the cylinder head below. And this is the surfaces we got to put a shim on in order to keep the cam from getting pinched. So let's show you how to fix the problem. If your cylinder head is trashed like this and the journals are worn out, unfortunately it can't be fixed. It has to be uh, changed out to a different head. At this time we don't have a way to fix it, but we're working on it. But what we can do is show you how to keep this from happening in the future. So let's take a look at a new, or at least a good cylinder head and show you how to do that. So there's two ways to prevent this from happening. Uh, the first way is probably the easiest way, and that's what most of you are going to do, is here's our three bond gasket sealer. So when you go to uh, put the valve cover back on, you can only put the three bond around the, the outside of the head like you would to seal up the valve cover, but you're also going to put it right here on, on those flats, just like that. And you work your way around, put your valve cover on, you know, drop your cam in, your valve cover will go on. So the second technique of doing this, if you don't want to use the three bond method, is to shim up the two um, kind of pillars next to the center cam journal. And what I used to shim it with is, uh, this is aluminum tape that's used in HVAC work. And... Uh, couple layers on that goes a long way. In fact, we're going to measure a piece to show you exactly how thick it is. Alright, so a single layer of the aluminum tape is uh, a little bit over three thousandths of an inch. It's actually three... it's like three two. So, if you put two layers of this stuff on your, uh, on your head here, you're going to get a little bit over six thousandths, maybe six and a half thousandths clearance. By the time it squishes down, it's probably going to be closer to six. But, hey, that's a little bit of extra clearance that the oil can get in there and keep the camshaft and the journal lubricated. And that's what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my aluminum tape I made. I'm going to do two coats of it, or two layers of it, on, on uh, either one of these guys. In fact, I already did that one. You can see it off camera. I'm going to go ahead and do this one for you guys on camera. And... You just need a very small piece of the tape, not a whole lot. It's essentially aluminum foil. Two. So make sure you get all the little bits and pieces off. We don't want any little pieces of aluminum floating around the engine or anything. Make sure you get a good clean cut. That's it. That little two thin layers of tape right there on both of these posts makes all the difference in the world when uh, going the valve cover back on. All right, so either way, if you decide to use the three bond um, goo method here on the, uh, the center cam journal uh, flats, 
or you use the tape method like we just showed you on the valve cover. Uh, you still have to button this all back up. So you know, your cam is going to drop back in the motor. Uh, you're going to have you know, three bond on here. Everything else is going to be ready to go. So here's another last important step. When you go to put the valve cover back on the engine, just like that, you look at your Honda service manual, page 44, it shows that these two screws, the ones right next to the cam journal, are bolts number one and two to torque. What I'm going to tell you is skip them. Take them out of the sequence. Start over here. This is bolt number three. And then do the sequence around the, the valve cover accordingly. Uh, the torque spec on the smaller bolts, the M6 bolts, is six to seven foot pounds. And the larger bolts, the M8 bolts, are going to be uh, 13 to 14 foot pounds. Do all those, skip these two. Once everything's torqued in place, just snug up those bolts enough they don't move. Do not torque them to spec. Just hand snug so they don't come out and leave them. That's going to keep you from flexing that valve cover any further than it needs to be. Keep you with extra clearance on that center cam journal. So I hope this uh, helps explain a little bit better on why that center cam journal fails and how to prevent that from happening on your 360 engine. Again, this is Brendan here with Common Motor. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, follow and subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. We'll see you next time.